Hey kids, today we're going to learn about the world. The world that's around us is pretty amazing. But how does it work? It must be complicated. The secret is the world can only work when everything works together. A bee drinks from a flower and leaves with its pollen. A squirrel in the tree spreads the seeds that have fallen. Everything works together. The biggest elephant, the littlest fly. The gophers underground, the birds in the sky, and every single cricket, every fish in the sea, gives what they can and gets what they need. That is how the world works. That is how the world works. From A to zebra to the worms in the dirt, that's how it works. Hey everyone, look who stopped by to say hello. It's Socko! Hey! Where you been, Socko? I've been where I always am when you're not wearing me on your hand. In a frightening liminal space between states of being. Not quite dead, not quite alive. It's similar to a constant state of sleep paralysis. Socko, we were just talking about the world and how it works. Boy, that sounds complicated. Do you have anything you'd want to teach us about the world? I wouldn't say anything that you probably haven't already said yourself. I don't know about that, Socko. How about you give it a try? All right. The simple narrative taught in every history class is demonstrably false and pedagogically classist. Don't you know the world is built with blood and genocide and exploitation? The global network of capital essentially functions to separate the worker from the means of production and the FBI killed Martin Luther King. Private properties inherently theft and neoliberal fascists are destroying the left and every politician, every cop on the street protects the interests of the pet affiliate corporate elite. That is how the world works. Really? That is how the world works. Genocide the natives say you got to it first. That's how.